you are watching my channel tech zone and diy please subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so thank you very much today's video is related to the earlier video that i have made which was uh, how to build a cold room so this video is uh, about uh, the air conditioner that you're gonna use and how to modify this air conditioner to work with the uh, gadgets that I'm gonna discuss in my next video. So let's get going. The AC you're gonna select um, generally should be a manual AC which is easier to modify. The electronic AC will be more difficult. It will require a higher uh, level of knowledge and I'm not covering that. I'm just covering the uh, manual AC. So a 5000 BTU or 6000 BTU is more than enough for a cold room which is 4 feet by 4 feet into 8 feet or 7.5 feet high. If you are making a 6 feet into 4 feet into 8 feet or 7.5 feet um, cold room, I think then you should go for 8000 BTU unit. The modification to the AC unit is uh, pretty simple forward. I will discuss that uh, in my next slides. The first thing to be done is basically to remove the cover for the air conditioner and look inside. When you are inside, you will find uh, electrical connection box. Uh, generally, it is secured by a single screw and uh, you, you need to just open up that box and look for the wires that I'm going to discuss in here. In this modification, we will need only three wires to make the connections complete. And this power supply, where you have all the connections, mod will go right in there. Alright guys, so this is the power plant. This is on off switch, I believe. This one down there. And uh, this one is, uh, is the thermostat. So you make it less or more. You see those clicking sounds I just need these two wires but before I do that I need to know which is live and which one is uh, coming on and off this I have to find out the wire which goes from switch to the thermostat is the live wire and the wire which goes from thermostat and to the compressor unit is the wire uh, which energizes uh, the the compressor through a relay so uh, you need to anyways confirm those two things and then uh, the uh, the third wire uh, that we will need is a neutral wire generally that is a white wire and you're gonna use uh, that wire uh, for the heater the first two wires are for the cold function you will have to locate uh, the neutral wire and uh, uh, after locating the neutral wire then you will have to make a neutral connection to this wire. Remember this uh, neutral wire will remain within the AC, it will not go out of the AC. There will be three wires uh, going from the air conditioner unit through the flex conduit and into the uh, gadgets box. So these uh, three wires should be of different colors and they should be flex wires. They should not be hardcore wires uh, because there will be some bands inside. It will be easier to manage and make the connections. I had a broken extension cord and I have used that extension cord cable for my connections, which had uh, different colors in there. One was black and one was green and one was white. So I use those connections and I'm describing those connections in here. Connect the black wire to point number one, which will be a live wire and connect the green wire to the point number two, which uh, will energize the compressor through a relay. And uh, then uh, you can uh, leave the white wire, which will be connected to the heater that that is installed in the front the wire which was connected to the neutral point that will get connected to one of the wires coming out from the heater 
and the white wire that I have just described uh, from the extension cord uh, that will be connected to the other end of the heater that will complete the connection to the heater. In this setup I am using the Inkbird uh, temperature controller unit. These temperature controller units uh, come with its own temperature sensors. I am using two Inkbird temperature control units, one for cold and one for the heater and it has two sensors so the cold sensor will be installed just outside the radiator as shown in this picture and the other one has to go a little bit deeper into the radiator and make sure you do not uh, puncture any tubings inside you just uh, slightly slide it into the radiator unit as shown here uh, that will enable to measure the uh, real temperature of the radiator and it will also uh, indicate when the radiator is gonna ice up during the operations. Once all the connections are made then the last step will be uh, to tape together all these wires, the other ends of the wires and then push them through the conduit and bring it out to the connection box that will complete the wiring of the AC unit. In my next video I am going to talk about how to make all the connections to the Inkbird temperature control units. In that video will describe to put it together and then make the connections so that you can seamlessly control all the settings as you like. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.